Every summer, children living here in San Francisco's Mission District are offered the opportunity to come here. The Secret Garden. Once inside this garden, which is nestled behind two residential houses on San Francisco's Harrison Street, it's inside this drug-free and gang-free environment these children are trained in organic gardening techniques and figurative and abstract painting. Let's travel inside the garden right now to see what these kids are up to today. Why do they call this the secret garden? I don't get that. Because it's a secret that nobody knows about this garden. That's <laughs> a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they all come from different backgrounds. Most of them are, you know, they're all, you know, Latinos, but from Mexico to Central America. Um, so they're just not Mexicans. There's a lot of Central Americans here. Predominantly, you know, low income, you know, family. So they don't have, um, you know, the means usually uh, they, they come from you know more backgrounds but you wouldn't know it you know being here maybe you'll make mountains or you'll make put a sun there and you can make things up but the figures the people that will help you put a bunch of people in, in the garden so you, you're gonna make a big garden scene like we're doing right now people watering people digging people planting It's good to be outside. It's a classroom outside, so you're not confined to the to you know the, you know the four walls of a classroom. So you're able to to do work outside. So it's basically uh, hands-on activities uh, in the garden uh, and you know and painting. So anything that they do, we try to integrate their environment into their work. Why do you like coming here, Jada? Why is it fun for you? Because um, I like to paint. What's your favorite part about gardening? Planting. And how do you make a plant grow? How do you make it make sure it's healthy? What do you do to it? Make sure it has sun and water. When when we double dig, when we dig the hole, we put some compost in. Compost cycle. Yep. And then. And the compost is made like the poop of the world. There, right there. This right here, like this dirt you see here, is worm poop, and it doesn't smell. It smells like regular, regular dirt. And here we put all sorts of food scraps, and they eat it and make it into compost for the garden. Compost brings like. A lot of nutrients and soil and plants really need that. The the thing about the garden that I like the most is planting. Yeah. There's a tomato over there. Yeah. Can you show me the tomato? Yep. It's growing. Ready? Right here. Look at the An urban setting like this with the low-income kids, you know, it's really important because often uh, urban, you know, low-income kids get uh, get neglected um, in terms of programs. So when we can have a program like this to benefit these children, uh, I think it really helps the community get stronger and, and builds up their, their self-esteem, and, and it translates into you know a long life of uh, creative learning. What would you guys be doing here? Watching TV. I'm getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's a good idea for the kids um, to have this program because 
it like helps them get out of trouble and help them get hurt from like gangs and stuff like that because we do really have a lot of gang violence here and I think it's like fun for kids to learn a new experience about gardening and art. Thank you.